，师傅。叔。I see that your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level. Your skills are now at the point of spiritual insight. What is the highest technique you wish to achieve? To have no technique. And what are your thoughts when facing an opponent? There is no opponent. Why is that? Because the word I does not exist. Tell me now. The Shaolin Commandment number 13. The martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and accept the consequences for his doing. Sifu, how shall I achieve true enlightenment? To thee, Mac. I sense the trouble in your heart. Sifu, you are always all knowing. It is time for you to journey to the Far East to seek your roots. It is there where you will find your answers. Zenzu Guizong. Ho, Sifu. Hey yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Mac Eats. I got my guy Dub Pete. We in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, man. We in D4, District 4. It's where the slums is at. It's where all the locals is at. You know what I'm talking about? We about to go uh, pass out some red envelopes, man. So in celebration of the, uh, the Lunar New Year, which is also Chinese New Year. Y'all celebrate right. Vietnamese. Vietnamese New Year. It's the same thing. Same shit. It's customary to right. hand out red yeah, envelopes red envelope. because we, about to we believe it's our it's our culture that when we give, we receive. So right. Right. we do a lot of giving so that you know the universe may bless us. So right. today we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check the hood out, and we also gonna give out some red envelopes to the people. You know what I mean? So let's Get take it, a walk. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. <laughs> Jok mong na moi. Jok mong jok mong na moi. Jok mong na moi. Jok mong na moi. Yeah. 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 Jok mong na moi. Intermission for the sponsors, Attorney Rosenberg. He's in the LA area. If you ever find yourself in a sticky situation and you need legal representation, criminal defense, Attorney Rosenberg represents the stars in LA. Hit him up. He gonna get you out of that situation. Also, LA High Life. Anywhere in the United States, if you trying to get your hustle warm, hit up. LA High Life, they gonna make sure you get the best work available in the LA area, but they gonna ship it to wherever you want it to. So if you want that fire, you want that gas, hit up LA High Life. They gonna make sure you straight. Let's get it. Bye. Hold on, hold on. Come on, let's go. Okay. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Walking down these Saigon streets and alleys, I can't help but notice the difference in lifestyle between here and back home in the States. Because even though America has no shortage of poverty and struggle, it's nothing compared to here. 
Because even in the worst hood in America, you will still see cars on every block. You gonna catch a Nike or Gucci shirt. But here, you got people living in spaces no bigger than a prison cell. We're all Americans. Like, what's the difference you think between here and America is the biggest difference? The biggest difference is how people is, man, you know? Same with Chinese, it's like respect, you know what I mean? That, and honor, like that, that's, that's the that's biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're younger than uh, the next person, the younger person don't wait till the older, the elders eat first before they start eating this shit. Like that's really, really important. When you shake somebody here, you gonna see they shake you with two hands, or they when they give you something, they gonna give you with two hands. It's just like a respect thing. You know what I'm right. Come on, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! While serving my 10-year prison sentence, one of the things that I look forward to the most was traveling back to Asia. Me being born in the US and only visiting Asia as a baby, I had no memories of that experience. So my only knowledge of the motherland was through television and stories that I heard. For me, going back to Asia represented freedom. And as a prisoner at the time, freedom was a luxury that I could only dream of. So for me, this trip is not a vacation, nor is it work. Instead, returning back to the motherland is an ultimate act of freedom. And even though my family is not from Vietnam, for some strange reason, I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm amongst my people, my family. Oh, he's cute. His hair. Oh, huh? Yeah. Let's try it. It's good. It ain't too spicy. I thought it was gonna be really spicy. It ain't too spicy. The consistency of the noodles is like, it's kind of perfect, I ain't gonna lie. The seafood, it's all right. For some street food, Good. And how much is this right here? A dollar. A dollar. dollar. So this is a dollar sixty. Can't go wrong. Dollar fifty. Oh wait. With print. Can't go wrong. In America, for a dollar fifty, you can't get a cup of ramen, bro. It's like two dollars for a cup of ramen. In One thing I noticed about Vietnam is that this country does its best to preserve its culture and principles. Vietnam hasn't allowed money and influence to change the fabric of the country like the other countries around it. And this is the lesson that Sifu wanted me to learn. But as I'm looking at the faces of the people here, I see a huge difference than the faces in the ghettos of America. The people here, they look more happy. They look less stressed, less depressed. And as we're out here handing out this lucky money and feeding the people, I can't help but think of no matter what anyone else does, never allow it to change who you are. Yo, hope that you enjoyed this episode of Mac Eats. Make sure y'all get y'all shirt. Hit the link in the description below so you could get a fire ass Mac Eats shirt. And also, shout out to the sponsors. Not Polished Nail Design, San Diego. If you wanna get your nails did, or maybe not you, but your wife, whoever, shout out them for always hooking up the nails right. And shout out to Little Saigon Clothing Apparel. You know what I'm saying? They doing big things. Shout out to them. Follow them on Instagram. Let them know that China Max sent you, babe. Tell me the Shaolin commandment. All right. The martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and to accept. All right. Wait, zone. He said zip. Right? Well, right. Himself. For himself and to accept the consequences. The martial artist has to take responsibility for his action. Wait. Zen Zhu Gui Zhong. Say it again. Zen Zhu Gui Zhong.
Can you bring it all the way back? 